You know, putting today's and yesterday's price action to the side, Tyler, do you think what we're seeing right now reflects a unique moment in time or the start of uh, a shift in how younger investors view opportunities in the market? Look, I think this is the beginning of the end of centralized finance. I think if anyone thinks this is about just one stock or two stocks, um, they're mistaken. I think this is a much larger movement. I think it's a sy systemic issue. Um, and I think that people need to fix it um, or it's going to get much, much worse. I think this is a much larger issue in the thread of our country and its fragility and what's happening in the inequality. Um, and frankly, the hypocrisy of the political leaders who say, you can't open your business and run your business and make a living during the pandemic. We won't pass a stimulus uh, bill in time. And oh, by the way, now you can't trade. You know, what's the next thing they're going to control and say you can't do? And what it really does... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who is saying all of those things? That sounds like some uh, attempt at whipping up something populist that, that, that's not based in fact. Is there, is there one person who is saying all of those things? Have you no, tried out dining in, in Manhattan in, uh, in January, outdoor dining? I mean... That, that's yeah, but fact. what politician is telling people they can't trade? Well, there's, a, there's a limited number of governors. There's Tyler, one what politician is telling people they can't trade? If you've got private companies that are shutting down trading, then blame the oh, private okay. companies. But why are you there, blaming government for all those there, things? Be accurate. There are political well, leaders. Who know. Name them. It, who are they? What are you talking about? We don't know what the what the regulators are leaning on on the different platforms, and and they're clearly monitoring it. I think. For, well, if you don't know, Biden. then don't say you know. Like I know it's convenient well, during I, these times when I, people are emotional I, to blame the authorities for all these things. But what are you talking about? Who's who's shutting down trading? Small businesses had not been able to operate. That's okay. not what I asked. I didn't ask about small business operating. We've been reporting plenty on that, and different well, places have different rules. But you said the same people have been both limiting businesses opening and shutting down trading like, like we're seeing today. That, that just hasn't happened. Okay, so who made the call to Robin Hood? Was there a call made to Robin Hood? I don't know. Do you think Robin you don't Hood No, just... exactly. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead. Robin Hood woke up and made the decision themselves halt the tickers. I, I don't know, but I'm not claiming to. Okay, I didn't claim to either. You did. I, you, you just I, said that the authorities are doing all of these things. Go back to the tape. I did not say that. I said they're not, people are not allowed to trade. I don't know what the calls made, but I don't think it came from Robin Hood. Do you think that... I, mean, I, think it's, I think it's a fair question, and I think it's the question, given the fact that you're the journalist, you should be asking, not me. Exactly, should, and I will ask, but I'm not claiming to know like you just did. I'm not claiming to know. I'm claiming to ask, and I'm asking you, did you call well, Robin Hood? Let's ask the question. Let's okay, go ahead and do that. That's great. You asked Robin Hood the question today. How I don't do you have even... Robin Hood on. I have you on. So I'm, okay. I'm actually okay. analyzing what you're saying. Okay, so you even have you haven't you haven't done your job today and emailed Robin Hood and asked them why they stopped. If I trading. haven't done my job, then you're implying I'm wasting my time talking to you. But you, all I'm you, doing is, if you're putting a statement out there, I want to know what its basis is in fact. If there is none, your mistake. Whatever, we can move on. Okay, I think if you look at the tape, I didn't make the comment you're saying I did. What I'm saying is, someone needs to ask the question to Robin Hood, and it should be you. It shouldn't be me asking you on, on my segment. Here, I have a statement from, from Robin Hood. Here it is. We continuously monitor the markets and make changes where necessary. In light of recent volatility, we are restricting transactions for certain securities to position closing only. Uh, that's the statement that we have from Robin Hood on the actions they've taken today. And that sounds opaque and not the full picture. You know, Robin Hood, besides... Oftentimes, companies, besides giving us a statement, will refuse to say much more than that. Um, but I think what you're suggesting is some kind of conspiracy, right? That authorities ordered Robinhood to restrict trading in some sense. I mean, for us to what sort I'm of talk about that on air is that, a big deal. So I don't, I, I understand John's pushback. What I'm suggesting is that on Ethereum, that could never happen and there would be no such thing. So why did it happen in centralized finance? Um, and we should we should understand that. And I've never seen a hedge fund deplatform from Bloomberg Terminal or throttled on the prime brokerage account. 
um, and, and pull back on the market when they're shorting a company like GameStop, when they're making too much money. I've never seen the big guys I, get throttled. I only see them get built. Right, uh, I'm makes also money on not sure. So you're assuming that I mean, that, we, like, we, to be fair, we are looking at the business model, the payment for order flow, and could that be some reason behind it? And we are talking about how commission-free trading isn't exactly free, but also, you know, also, I'm also getting a little confused about who you guys are blaming. Tyler, you just mentioned that brick and mortar are like sitting ducks and it's hedge funds and short sellers who are going after them at this weak moment. But in that case, couldn't you blame Jeff Bezos and Amazon? Aren't they the reason that brick and mortar is declining? And then this digital transformation, I mean, where does it stop? It's a little bit different when you're building a competing business versus you're sitting on a lot of capital and pile driving businesses with shorts. And these are the same short sellers that tried to kill Tesla and Elon Musk, who incidentally is trying to build sustainable energy and bring humanity to Mars. And they almost got him, the greatest generation, the greatest entrepreneur of our generation. They literally almost got him multiple times. And so that's like betting against innovation, betting against prosperity, betting against America. And, and it's really negative. So that's a lot different than building a business that's more competitive. It seems and like actually we're obsessed in building a better experience. And look, the Wall Street bets crowd, I'm sure they'd come on here if you invited them, but they never get the inv invitation. They never get the privilege to do that. So they said, you know what? We're <laughs> going to go create our own show on Reddit and we're going to pool our capital the same way the hedge funds pool their capital. We're going to look at the market. A hedge fund overplayed its hand. It got greedy, it overshorted, and we're going to do a gamma squeeze. We're going to do exactly what they do. So, I, you know, I think that's that's what this is about. I think we keep the door open. We follow the money here at CNBC. Um, we'll leave the conversation there. Cameron and Tyler, thank you for joining us today with your views. Thanks, guys.